he was one of the kindest, most gentle, loving, caring people I knew. And he also sexually abused me for seven years. That's Michael Jackson accuser Wade Robson telling his story of abuse by Michael Jackson in an exclusive HBO documentary that was released earlier this year. But now his story is coming under scrutiny in light of a newly released video deposition from 2016. Here again, Chief Breaking News correspondent Trace Gallagher. Hi, Trace. Hi, Martin. That video is Lies of Leaving Neverland. It runs about 30 minutes and it points out several things that critics have been saying since Leaving Neverland first aired on HBO, like why was the Jackson family not given the opportunity to respond to the damaging claims about Michael Jackson? And why was actor Macaulay Culkin not contacted to speak about Jackson? Remember, the accusers say Macaulkin was also sexually abused by Jackson, but the actor strongly denies that, saying Jackson was one of his best friends. And it's important to know Note that one accuser, Wade Robeson, testified during Michael Jackson's 2005 molestation trial, which I covered gavel to gavel. And at the time, Robeson swore Jackson never molested him. Watch this. On line 21, you're asked, Mr. Robeson, did Michael Jackson ever touch you in a sexual way? And you responded, never, no, correct? Correct. And that was a lie, correct? That was what I had rehearsed with Michael. Yeah, he now claims that he testified Jackson didn't sexually abuse him to save the singer's life. But his 2005 testimony was so compelling, many legal experts say it is the reason Jackson was acquitted. And there are numerous other holes in Robson's new story. One major point of contention is where he says the abuse began. He alleges that it started during a trip to the Grand Canyon. And watch where he talks in Leaving Neverland about being left alone with Michael Jackson. I was ecstatic about this. Michael was ecstatic about this. So my whole family left. But in his 2016 deposition, Robeson contradicts that statement, clearly indicating that his family was still with him at the Grand Canyon when he claims the abuse began. Watch this. Then whenever it was bedtime, you know, she went upstairs and Michael and I stayed in the bed downstairs. And I believe at some point, that night, the abuse started. She being his sister. Then there are sexual abuse allegations by James Safechuck, claiming Jackson molested him on the children's train at Neverland in 1988 or 89, except the train at Neverland wasn't built until years later. Most documents say 1993. We're not saying the accusers are lying, but there are clearly conflicting accounts, contradictions, and changing stories that would never be allowed to stand at face value during a trial. The Michael Jackson estate has filed a $100 million lawsuit against HBO, which, of course, aired Leaving Neverland. Martha. Thank you, Trace. Here with more, Geraldo Rivera, Fox News correspondent at large who called himself one of Michael Jackson's friends. Um, Geraldo, good to see you tonight. But what, what's your reaction you to this, you know, sort of rebuttal uh, documentary that has now been released? I think that it was long overdue. It's uh, confirming what I've been saying since 2005. Uh, you know, Jackson and I were close between 2003 till the trial in 2005. Uh, he was a perfect family man, at least in front of me. We knew that Robson was going to testify on his behalf. He testified very compellingly uh, that Jackson never touched him inappropriately. Safe Chuck claiming that, uh, uh, you know, he was molested at a, the Neverland Railroad Station not yet built. This is fake news, Martha. This is what we've been saying. Michael Jackson, I don't know, maybe he was a, a freak in his private life at some point, but these two uh, witnesses, these assailants, uh, they're assailants of the truth. What they were trying to do is cash in on Jackson's estate once he passed. Uh, you know, it is shameful. Uh, they are absolute uh, right. liars. Uh, Trace is uh, more let me reticent push, let me than push I am. Back I a think bit. they're just plain he, liars. Here, here's what some people who are watching this, you know, who watch that whole thing, which is a sickening documentary, um, you know, and hearing their very detailed accounts of exactly, you know, of the grooming as they described it. it there's, they're out there saying, look, they were young boys. This guy messed with their minds and convinced them to defend him. And then years later, they have kids of their own, and they're, they're not going to do it anymore. What do you say to that argument? 
I think it's BS, Martha, and uh, in Robeson's case particularly. The guy's a choreographer. He wanted very much to be in Cirque du Soleil, the Michael Jackson show. He put all in his, he invested all his emotional, uh, you know, ammo in getting that, uh, getting that part, getting that gig. He did not get it. In bitterness, seeking money, he then changed his story. He is a mercenary. Uh, Safe Chuck is as well. These people from the very beginning were in it to get a, a piece of Jackson's, uh, what they thought, enormous estate. Uh, you know, I, I just think that uh, this man's reputation, the king of pop, has been unfairly assailed. Uh, you oh. know, he lived unconventionally. Let's face it, he, he was Absolutely. a weirdo in many ways, and I, I say right. that in love and kindness. But uh, these two people are liars. All right. we'll, we'll pick it up later. Uh, Harlan, and thank HBO, you. HBO should be ashamed. HBO should be ashamed of themselves for All not right. doing a fair documentary, never seeking any comment from the Jackson family. They could have come All to right. me or a go. million other people that Harlan, knew Jackson. I'm going to get cut off. Thank you very much. We'll have you back.